Welcome back to H20 Special Relativity. In this section, we want to talk about particles in accelerators. And we use the Large Electron Positron Collider at CERN as an example. LAP, the Large Electron Positron Collider, was a collider which was operated in uh, the late 1980s up to the year 2000, a center of mass energies from 91 GeV to up to 209 GeV. Um, These energies were used to probe the Z boson, to produce pairs of W boson, and also to look for the Higgs boson, which didn't quite work because this energy wasn't quite sufficient. The 27 kilometer or about 16 mile circumference collider is now the home of the large Hadron Collider at CERN, and it's being used there to collide protons with protons. Um, lab had four experiments, Aleph, Delf, Delphi, L3, and Opal. And I was happy to uh, you know, study data from the opal detector as part of my undergraduate, undergraduate thesis. So this was uh, very good memories there. Um, but that's not the topic today. So the topic of the day is to you know, find out how quickly or how fast uh, the particles in the collider are moving and we know the center of mass energy. So if you know the center of mass energy to be 209 GeV, we know that the energy in the beam is half of that. 104.5 GeV. Um, so now to figure out how fast the leptons are moving, the electrons and the positrons, we can use our relativistic total energy for the electron or for the positron, which is the kinetic energy plus the rest mass of the electron or positron, which is m naught gamma times c square. So with a mass of 511 keV over c square and this energy of 104.5 GeV, this results in a gamma factor of 200,000. And if you do the mass, you'll find that electrons and positrons are almost moving with the speed of light. In, in, they're moving with the speed of light. Um, as a you know, fun additional fact is we are working right now on proposing a even larger collider which will then allow to efficiently go up to energies of 350 GeV. And that collider then will be able to uh, you know, study the Higgs boson with precision, but also look at top pair production, top quark pair production in this kind of collider. Um, another fun fact is that you know, CERN, the collider, which is about 100 meter under the surface, um, is spanning two countries, Switzerland and France. And so each particle laps, lap, I mean, makes a lap, um, makes about 11,200 laps per second. That means that there is about 44,800 border crossings for an electron and positron. So they all constantly have to show their passport when they're moving around in that. Um, to look at a second example here, um, with a smaller accelerate, we can accelerate electrons through a electrostatic potential of 511 kilovolts or 0.511 megavolts. Um, the total energy then is again the kinetic energy plus the rest energy, which is in this example 0.511 MeV plus 0.511 MeV. And so here we find a gamma factor of two and a velocity of 0.866. So even in this smaller electrostatic potential of 500 uh, kilovolts, um, we find that electrons are moving with very, very high velocities, with velocities very close to the speed of light. 